welcome to a Key Smash Studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change a button image on click so that way we can create a on and off button as you're seeing on the screen. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Before we get started, I want to let you know two things. The first thing is that I actually upgraded my computer this past week, and the second one is that we're Amazon affiliates. The reason the first part is relevant is because I've actually provided affiliate links in the description below of all of the pieces that I currently have in my PC. The graphics card is from my old PC. I haven't upgraded that quite yet, but I am hoping to upgrade that soon. So if you'd like to know one type of computer that we're running here at Keysmash, feel free to look at those affiliate links in the description below. And if you're looking to upgrade your PC and want some inspiration on parts, definitely be sure to check out those affiliate links. So now we can go ahead and jump right into creating our on and off button. In the previous video, I discussed button states and styles. That tutorial is not needed before you do this one, but we did import our images in that one, but I will provide a link to where these images came from in this description as well. So the first thing we want to do is shift click on our green and red button and then right click on it. We're going to go up to sprite actions and we're going to create sprite and the reason we're doing this is because our buttons style will take in a brush and a brush is created from a sprite and not a png so now that we've done that we can go ahead and create our user interface so you're going to go down into your content box you're going to right click go to user interface and then create a widget blueprint i'm just going to name this flip button as we'll be flipping between two images on click. And then we can go ahead and open up this widget. And then since this tutorial is just about a singular button that we're gonna be turning on and off, I'm gonna kind of just fill the screen with it as I did in the previous video. So you're gonna click on button and then you're going to drag it into your hierarchy under your canvas panel. And then you're gonna click on your button. I wanna make sure that is variable is checked. I'm going to anchor it to the center of the screen, give it a position of negative 300 by negative 150, and then I'm going to give it a size of 600 by 300. And then as you can see with this button, we talked about this in the previous video more in depth, but we're going to go ahead and drop down our style. I want my button to be on initially, so I'm going to have the image be our green button. And I'm going to set that for its normal and its hovered, as I don't want anything to happen when the player hovers over it, I just want something to happen when they click on it. So I'm going to have the normal and the hovered be the same, and then for pressed I'm going to have it be red. And so now at the beginning, our button is defaulted to green. When you hover over it, it's still green. And then when you press down on it, it becomes red. And this is just the default. So this is how our button is going to be whenever we add this widget to our viewport. So now we're going to go over to graph. And I'm going to go ahead and delete pre-construct and just move up the construct so it's more out of the way. And I'm also going to delete event tick as well. The next thing we want to do is create two variables. These are going to be for our sprites. So the first one I'm going to name green sprite. And the second one I'm going to name red sprite. And then I need to change both of these to a paper sprite component. And now that that's done, we want to go ahead and drag each of them out and we're going to set them so that way we can set them to the image that we have inside of our contents folder. So the first one is our green button. Sorry, set red sprite. And then our next one is going to be our red button. And these are being set every time that this widget is created. So the next thing we want to do is our click handling. So we're going to go ahead and add a on click, which is actually inside the designer. So if we go over to that and scroll down, we can add the event on clicked. And then we're going to drag this down so it's out of the way of our on construct. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is use a flip flop. And this is sort of like an if statement, except the handling of the variable being checked, in this case A, is being done for you. So initially A is true, and since our default image is green, we want A to then make the image of our button red. And the way we do that is by dragging out from here, and we're going to set style. Sorry, first we have to get our button. So we're gonna drag our button out and get button and then drag out from this and get set style. And then we'll connect our A node to that set style node. And this set style is what allows us to change the image of our button. Again, we saw the style inside of our designer right here. So if we go back to our graph, we're gonna go ahead and drag out from in style and we're going to make a button style. And as you can see, it has the same parameters as it does in the designer, but we're just gonna be messing with the normal hovered and pressed. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our red sprite and we're going to get it. And this is going to be going into the normal and hovered of our style, but you can't directly put a sprite into a style, you have to put a brush into the style. So we're going to convert this to a brush. And then we're going to take this returned value of the brush of our sprite and put it in our normal and our hovered. And then we're going to do the same for the green. So get green sprite, make brush. And then this is going to be our pressed. So again, what's happening here is whenever A is true, and which is the case initially on a flip-flop, we're going to make our button turn red whenever it's normal or hovered over, and then we're gonna switch it to green whenever it's pressed. So now we need to do the opposite of this for our B. So we can actually just copy this portion and paste it and put it down below, and we're gonna have our B go into this set style. And then we're going to pull out another green sprite, and this time we're going to have it go into the top, which is our normal and hovered. And then we're going to pull out our red sprite, which is going to go into the bottom, which is just our pressed. So now initially our button is green in the normal. So whenever we go into this flip flop and press down on our button, then the style is going to be switched to where the image is now red on normal and then green whenever pressed. And then if they press again, then the flip flop will be called once more. And this time it will be B. So it'll go down and it will set the normal to be green and the press to be red. So now we can go ahead and save and compile this and go back to our scene and we're going to go up to blueprints, open level blueprint. And this is where we're going to add our widget to our viewport. So the first thing we need to do is have a begin play event. And then from here, we're going to create our widget. And the widget class is going to be that flip button that we created. And our owning player is going to be the player controller. And then finally, we want to add this widget that we've created to our viewport so the player can actually see and interact with it. And then the target for this viewport is going to be the widget that we created. And now we can go ahead and compile and save again. And now if we go back to the scene and we press play, the button appears on our screen. If I click on it, it changes to red. If I click on it again, it goes back to green. So as a recap, we created a on and off button by changing the image of this button on click. We did this through changing the parameters of a button style and assigning that style to our button. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. Once again, we're Amazon affiliates, so if you'd like to check out any of those computer parts, be sure to click on the affiliate links down below. On top of that, we stream games on Twitch, Tuesday and Wednesday. We have our own game called Blast Off on the Google Play Store. We also have a Unity asset pack of kids toys, and we have a Patreon. If you'd like to support us in any of those ways, all of those links will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.